Um, hello. Uh, uh, first of all, um, thank you to uh, all the people in hats who have uh, decided to give us this uh, doctorate, which we don't deserve. Um, uh, I definitely don't deserve it, but I thought if Tim was getting it, you know, fuck it. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so, um, traditionally at this point, people like me give uh, people like you who are graduating um, a bit of advice, but I know most of you are actors, so it's given me something of a dilemma, as the truth is I don't really know much about actors, apart from I like them. I mean, they're all fucking mad, but I like them. <laughs> The only thing I really know about is writing, uh, but actually we have a long tradition in this country of actors going on to be playwrights, uh, so much so that I often think it's the best uh, training for a playwright is not a writing course, but an acting course. And I know that some of you will write plays, some of you may already be writing plays, and some of those plays will be great. So when I look out here now, all I really see is a room full of threats. Lots of eager, smart, intelligent, talented, and now fully trained people coming for my job. <laughs> Therefore, I have decided to try to destroy you. <laughs> I have created a couple of bits of advice that I think will help to destroy your careers. Uh, now, I'm well aware that the smart ones among you will probably not take this advice and may even choose to do the opposite, but I figure, statistically speaking, some of you will take it. I'm aiming at the low-hanging fruit here. <laughs> it can't hurt. So, here is my advice for destroying your careers as quickly as possible. Uh, collaboration. Why bother collaborating? <laughs> it's a hassle, and look how great you are. Don't collaborate. You think Hitler collaborated? Look, I'm not saying he was a great guy, but he got things done. <laughs> if you collaborate, you get other people coming in, bringing in their ideas, which may be great, which may be fantastic, which may ele elevate your own ideas into something bigger than they could ever possibly be, and then it becomes a whole thing. <laughs> the best way to destroy your careers is to never find a way to be a collaborative individual. Don't collaborate. You're smarter than them. Believe me, I wouldn't lie. <laughs> Compromising. When I started out, someone said, once said to me, if you compromise now, you'll compromise all the way through your career. It was brilliant advice, which is why I think you should not take it. <laughs> you see, it's tempting to believe that when you start out, you have to make compromises artistically, and then when you get further in, you're free to do what you believe in. But if you start out uh, not caring about what you're doing, you'll probably always be a bit like that. It's a long and difficult road that you're about to set out on, but the true reward is doing something you love. The quickest way to destroy your career is to forget that. So my advice is forget that. <laughs> oh, and it's really important to understand the difference between collaborating and compromising, but I'm not gonna give you any help there. Why should I? <laughs> uh, finding your voice. This is one that is specifically aimed at writing, so I was gonna get rid of it. Uh, but then I thought, it kind of has a parallel in life, so I'm going to keep it in. Uh, maybe it'll help destroy you just a little. It can't help. Um, writers are often told, find your voice. Find your voice, people say. Now, in my opinion, this is a brilliant piece of advice for anyone really wanting to destroy their careers. Uh, there is no better route to bad art than to sit around thinking, who am I for the next five years? The answer to the question, who am I, is you're you. Uh, and it is much easier and more honest to be you uh, um, to be you and see if people like that than spend a life being something you're not. We're all tempted to be something we're not. We are tempted to do that because we're scared of what we are. Sometimes we're ashamed of it, frightened of it, or we just think it's a bit shit. <laughs> well, it probably is. <laughs> you're probably a bit shit. <laughs> but that's okay, we're all a bit shit. I'm a bit shit, Tim's a bit shit, your teachers are definitely a bit shit. <laughs> and as for your families, uh, no, no, let's not get into families. 
But trying to be some, someone else means you'll never learn to embrace your bitch shittedness. <laughs> and that is fine by me because it is just that kind of psychological mindfuckery that will screw you up <laughs> and keep you well away from taking my work from me. Uh, people always say, be yourself. Why? Be someone else. Someone cooler, <laughs> sexier, cleverer, maybe even someone with more hair. Uh, you think people are going to see through that? People are not going to see through that. Be someone else. Find your voice. Pontificate on who you are and destroy your careers. <laughs> always, always, always work with people who are dumber than you. <laughs> this is a fantastic way to destroy your career. Never work with people who are smarter than you. That's scary. What, a room full of people who are more talented than you and will make your existence painful by dragging you up to their level? Do you know how much effort that is? <laughs> Always be the smartest person in the room. It feels nice. Uh, <laughs> idiots are great. They never question anything you do. They always agree with everything you say. And they generally do things the way you want to do them. Why have people point out that things are not as good as they could be? You'll only have to work harder. Stick with idiots. Idiots are great. <laughs> and lastly, advice. Uh, this is a tricky one because I can't really say take it or don't take it. If it's good, you should take it. If it's bad, you shouldn't. But the problem is that good advice and bad advice often look exactly the same. But I will say this. There are no precedents. You have not happened before. There are things that you can learn from people who have been down a similar path to yours. But they are not you you'll find that you'll always be asking lots of questions, and naturally you will want, us, you will want answers. But one of the few things I have learned is that there are no right answers. There are just decisions. You take them, you stand by them, and you hope they're right. You're in an amazing place right now, the first step on a path to find out what the fuck all this is about. <laughs> it's scary and sort of incredible and totally, totally unique to you. Go out, enjoy it, and I wish you the worst of luck. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>